G'day, my name's Brian from Bijan Tech. We're going to have a look at this Asus VivoBook Pro 15. I've actually reviewed this laptop before, but that was the Intel version. This here is the AMD Ryzen version. So we're gonna look at the battery life as well as the temperature and fan noise and have a look at the performance and how does that compare with the Intel version. Now, with the touch and feel as well as the display, if you want to check that out, look at the, my other review video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually check that video out after this. But we're really going to concentrate on the battery life as well as the performance and the temperatures and fan noise. Now again, as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to different sections that you may be interested in. Now this particular model, I've got the AMD version, is a little bit different to the Intel version. You can configure it very similar, it's just that this one here I've got does not have the discrete graphics. So it's really just a processor, and so I'm just gonna concentrate on really the difference between the processor. You can get the same discrete graphics configuration on this AMD Ryzen version, which is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050, but we're really just gonna concentrate on the difference with the processor. As for the temperatures and fan noise, when I took my measurements, my ambient temperature in the room was 21 degrees Celsius. And as for the ambient room noise was 36 decibels. Now before we get started, as always, your average hand is anywhere between 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. Just to give you a bit of background so you can have an idea of how hot or how cool a computer can be. So I took my base measurement when the computer was on idle and the hottest area on the keyboard was 27 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, hit a maximum of 36 and a half decibels. So that's practically quiet. And the average internal core temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Then I put the computer on 20% load. So that's pretty much average use. So that's tasks like office productivity work, streaming video, as well as surfing the web. And the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 32 degrees degrees celsius and as for the fan noise hit a maximum of 37 decibels so practically still quiet and the average internal core temperature was 53 degrees celsius then i put the computer on 50 percent load and the hottest air on the keyboard measured it in at 35 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise it still stayed at 37 decibel and the average internal core temperature was 74 degrees celsius then i put the computer on 100 percent load and the hottest air on the keyboard measured in at 38 degrees Celsius and as for the fan noise had a maximum of 49 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 88 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover when it was on 100% load and the horse area on the bottom back cover was 50 degrees Celsius. Comparing the AMD Ryzen 7 with the Intel Core i7 from idle to 50% load, we do see that the Ryzen 7 is one degree cooler than the i7. We also see that the i7 requires more active fan, keep it cooler. Even at 50% load, the i7 is one degree cooler than the Ryzen 7, but it does have the fan spinning faster. Once we go beyond the 50% up to 100% load, we start to see that the Ryzen 7 is way more cooler. We also see that the i7 at 100% load is 2 degrees hotter than the Ryzen 7 and also it's 3 decibels louder. So it does spin the fan more on the i7 compared to what's required for the Ryzen 7. Let's have a look at the stability performance of the Ryzen 7 in the VivoBook Pro 15. This one's configured with a Ryzen 7 5800H processor and looking on the AMD website has a maximum boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz and a base clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz. Ideally, we want to see this processor at 3.2 gigahertz or above. This computer is connected to mains power and set to best performance mode and also the fan profile is set to performance mode as well. Now, this computer has been running on 100% load for the last five hours and that's the processor, RAM, storage, and also the graphics is been running on 100% load. And I can see that the speed of the processor is anywhere between 3.5 to 3.9 gigahertz. So averaging it out, you're looking at about 3.7 gigahertz. And the internal core temperature is about 87 degrees Celsius. So that's doing pretty good. And I hear the fan is running off quite high at the moment because of fan profile set to performance mode. But touching on the keyboard, you barely feel any much heat at all. It's probably one of the coolest temperature wise 
laptops I've ever tested out on my channel. Here's the results of the benchmarks for the VivoBook Pro 15 AMD. This one's configured with a Ryzen 7 5800H processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD, and it doesn't have a discrete graphics, so it's just using the integrated Radon graphics. And here's the results of Passmark, CityBench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench, Fugin Photoshop. Fugin Lightroom, Fugin Premiere Pro, Blender, Blurmark, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some gaming benchmarks like Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 6, Immortal Phoenix Rising and F1 2021 and now we compare the AMD versus the Intel processor scores and we can see that in pass mark the AMD is about 63% quicker than the Intel and in 3D mark we can see that also that the AMD is about 70% quicker than the Intel core and in Citibench R23 we find that the single core the performance is about the same but when it comes down to the multi-core we find that the AMD is 80% quicker but once we actually do the sustain test which is the 10 minute test we also find that the AMD is very consistent even after the first run or over long periods of time whereas the Intel core as it progresses longer it actually decreases its performance it's in after 10 minutes you're looking at about 18% loss in performance. And in Geekbench, again, this is a little bit of a win for Intel. We find that the single core the Intel is about 6% faster than the AMD. And in multi-core, it's switched the way around and the AMD Ryzen is about 43% quicker than the Intel core. With the battery life of the AMD VivoBook Pro 15, I tested in my usual five different modes in Windows 11. So in best performance, it managed to get an hour and 45 minutes. In balance mode, it managed to get two hours and 10 minutes. In best power efficiency mode, it managed to get four hours. And in battery saving mode, it managed to get nine hours. And in media mode, it managed to get nine hours and 30 minutes. And as a disclaimer, I do put a very consistent workload across all the system resources. But you should actually get better numbers than what I'm quoting you at, as most applications won't hit all the system resources as hard or as consistently as I would in my battery life test. So I'm just giving the worst case scenario. Unfortunately, I can't give you a direct comparison with the Intel version of the VivaBook Pro 15 because the Intel version does have a discrete graphics, which usually is way more power consuming and power hungry compared to just using the integrated graphics overall the amd version does run cooler and it's able to sustain higher performance over long periods of times compared to the intel version again that also means there is lower fan noise and also longer battery life as well and of course there is a quite a bit of performance difference that amd does anywhere between 40 to 80 percent quicker and so I would have to say, I would definitely recommend the AMD version of the Intel version on the Zeus VivoBook Pro 15. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button, it does help me out. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And also I have the membership if you want to support me more by hitting that join button. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll catch you in the next video.